Hey guys, JD here. And today, I'm gonna show you how I use these Waves RX premium cleaning products to properly maintain my ski and perform post-ride maintenance. Remember to stay tuned for the special code where you can enter to win $150 worth of Waves RX products, only on JD's Waterworld. Now I know if you look on Amazon or even on the shelf in your local store, there are hundreds and hundreds of cleaning and flushing products available, and it's hard to figure out which ones to buy. So I've tried pretty much everything on the market, and I choose Waves RX not only because their products are all made in the USA, but because this is not some big corporation out of China. This is a company of guys who are really true jet ski and boat enthusiasts. They use these products themselves, they ride in the salt, they ride in the fresh water, they maintain their skis just like you and me, and these are products that they developed to help out other enthusiasts. I highly recommend that you give Waves RX a try. Their cleaning products are top notch and will keep your ski looking great. So here's how you could enter to win $150 worth of the Waves RX cleaning products featured in this video. First, subscribe to my channel and to the Waves RX YouTube channels. Then finish watching this video and write down the secret keyword which is bubbles. Then fill out the entry form at jdswaterworld.com slash wavesrx. The link is posted above. Good luck and thanks for watching. Arguably, one of the most important parts of post-ride care is properly flushing your engine. And we're gonna do that with this Waves RX Epic Flush product. Now you can see this product is made in the United States. It's also eco-friendly, non-toxic, biodegradable, plant-based, dye, sulfate, and phosphate free. So here I have a generic mixing unit. This one's from Amazon, it was about $20. And you only need a half ounce of this Waves RX product. You get 64 flushes with this bottle here. We're gonna take our bottle, and we're gonna pour about half an ounce into our mixing cup. Now, please follow the instructions from your specific manufacturer when flushing your ski. With the Kawasaki, I have this little hose here and this attaches to my flush port on the rear of the ski. I have one for the intercooler and one for the engine. Now I'm gonna circulate this Epic Flush product through the engine for three to five minutes and through the intercooler for three to five minutes. And then I'm gonna flush each of those out with fresh water for an additional three to five minutes. All right, so we flushed our engine, and in the case of the Kawasaki Ultra 310, we also flushed out the intercooler. And now we're gonna get ready to take care of the cosmetic part of the ski. We're gonna clean the upper deck, we're gonna clean the hull. You can see all these water spots everywhere. This is just filthy from being out in the sun and being out just on one ride. So first we're gonna start with our Epic Wash product. Epic Wash from Waves RX is not just a regular boat soap. This salt neutralizing product, of course, is eco-friendly, biodegradable, and non-toxic. And the best part is it provides your ski with an incredible hydrophobic coating that won't strip wax or ceramic coats and provides incredible protection to the surface that reduces mineral deposits and water spots and makes it easier to rinse and dry your ski. You can apply the Waves RX Epic Wash with a sponge. This is a microfiber sponge towel. And then you also really want a foam cannon like this. This is not an expensive one. They're about $20, $25 on Amazon. This is a very, very concentrated product and you just need one ounce of this product to wash your entire ski. So we're gonna add one ounce of this to our foam cannon, and then we're gonna let it soak on the ski for about five minutes, just so that it dissolves all those mineral and salt deposits. Now I also wanna show you these Waves RX scuff and grime removers. Now this includes two heavy duty pads, as you see right here, and two detailing pads, like you see right here. So we did a 120 mile ride yesterday and you could see all this grime that's kind of just baked onto my hull just from it sitting in the water. So after I spray the ski with the foam cannon, I'm gonna come back with this Waves RX eraser and I'm gonna go through and use this to remove all that grime that's kind of been set onto the gel coat of my ski. This is also safe to use on surfaces like this and I'm gonna show you how great these products are to keep your ski looking like new. But I just wanna give you a good look of what it looks like before. And these aren't just, fr these are kind of baked on. You can see it's just all kinds of mineral deposits and salt on my display, everywhere, on all the, the billet aluminum here, on the plastic here, everything is just, just from being out here in the Florida sun, 
just baking everything on here. So we're gonna add one ounce of this product to our foam cannon and we're gonna spray the entire ski down. So in testing this product, I've found that if your ski is very soiled, like mine was from salt water, that you wanna take a microfiber towel like this as well and give it a good wash down by hand before you let it soak. This is gonna help just remove some of those mineral deposits that have been cooked on by the sun. I've found that using a sponge like this, this does not cause swirl marks or scratches, and this is one of the best ways to ensure that you're getting everything off. So the ski's been soaking here for a little over five minutes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wash the whole thing down with some fresh water and get all of the soap off. So to remove stubborn grime or baked on water spots, you're just gonna moisten this Waves RX sponge like this. And you can see it does a really good job at getting those stubborn baked on spots off with ease. So if you're a normal person, you typically use a microfiber towel like this to dry off your ski. But I'm gonna show you the JD method. Okay, so we flushed the ski, we've given it an initial wash down, we've hosed it off, we've dried it off, and now we're gonna get ready to apply our Waves RX Ceramic Aqua Shield Hybrid Wax. Now there's one thing you should know with any automotive or marine wax, and that is do not apply it onto a hot surface. Now you can see we're here in South Florida. It's winter in most places, but it's 80 degrees here right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our ski into the shade to finish the final step of our post-ride detailing process. All right, so we've moved our skis into the shade and now we're gonna apply our ceramic Aqua Shield product. Now remember, you need a nice cool surface to apply the product. You don't wanna apply it in direct sun and you don't wanna apply it to a hot surface. Now the first thing I do after I wash down my skis is I jack the trailer up like this. You can see I've got a cinder block to give them the right angle. And then I go through and open all the compartments up. And you wanna do this so any residual water could drain out and there's no trapped moisture inside. You can see the water dripping out there. So we're gonna leave this open for at least 24 hours. I got the engine compartment open. We want everything to dry thoroughly. So our surface is cool and we're gonna go ahead and spray this Aqua Shield onto the ski. All right, so once you apply it, the next step is, and I use two towels for this process, but we're gonna take a small microfiber towel like this, and all you gotta do is just lightly spread it out over the surface. We're not buffing or polishing at this point. We're just spreading the product evenly over the surface of the ski. Making sure it's evenly distributed. All right, so we've evenly spread the AquaShield product on the ski. You can see it's still on there. So now I have another microfiber towel. This is a larger one. And I'm gonna go and take this, and now I'm gonna go and kinda, not quite a buff, but I'm gonna go and make sure that any of the remaining product that's on there is gonna get wiped off. And you can see as you wipe that, it leaves us with a really bright, deep, lustrous shine. So I'll give you a look at the surface there. We've got a nice deep shine. So this AquaShield product not only protects your ski from UV rays, but it creates a slick hydrophobic shield that should prevent spots like you saw earlier from coming back. So we're out in the salt. You know, anyone that rides a dark ski like this in the salt water knows that you get deposits all over the ski, you're out at the sandbar, and those cook into the gel coat or cook into the paint. And they can be a little bit of a challenge to remove and it can be a little bit of a challenge to maintain a, a black ski, especially if you ride in salt water. So that gives us a really nice deep gloss.
Okay, so my ski has been washed, it's been detailed. We've applied our AquaShield product. And now I've got one final product to show you guys to round up this video, and that is the Waves RX Bilge Pods. So these are the Waves RX Bilge Pods. Now, these kind of look like, you know, you have those Tide Pods or dishwasher pods, and these are filled with a biodegradable cleaner, degreaser, and salt sheeting product. Now, all you do is when you're done washing, what I typically do is just go ahead and drop one of those in my bilge. You can see it down in there. Now, once water gets in the bilge, it'll mix with that pod and spread that detergent all around. Um, and then it can be washed right out because it's biodegradable and eco-friendly. This is something you shouldn't overlook. If you use these from the beginning when your ski is new, then your bilge will always be nice and clean. And you can look down in there and you can see that I don't have an excess of sludge or dirt in the bilge because I use these pods. When you're out in the water, that sloshing of the water creates uh, a motion that actually cleans out the bilge. A special thank you to Waves RX for sponsoring this giveaway. Thanks for watching only on JD's Waterworld. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing for more exclusive jet ski content only on JD's Waterworld.